Now let's proceed to the part of our lesson for module 4. So all about plant cells. So welcome back to a small turbo YouTube channel. So for for the what I know portion, I'll just flash all the answers. Anyway, this will be discussed later. You may pause this video. Anyway. So, animals and plants are direct complementary to each other. We take in oxygen as a product of plant's transpiration and we take in carbon dioxide as a byproduct of our respiration. If as humans have the animal cell, what about the plants around us? Do they ha also have cells? How do their cells look like? Are there many similarities or differences between the two? Alright, so this part you're going to draw in the space provided about uh, about a plant okay which you think have been very useful for you your family or your community you draw it here and include a brief description of its usage and importance and this is the rubrics and for the what's new portion we have here the poem you may just read that one on your own and for the what is it? So plants play an important role in the sustainability of our ecosystem. Plants that produce grains, fruits, and edible leaves and parts are our basic food. We use some of them for medicinal and aesthetical or aesthetic purposes. Plants are mainly multicellular, which, which means mainly celled. They belong to kingdom plantae and are predominantly photosynthetic. With, when you say photosynthetic, they can make their own food. So here are the major parts of a plant cell. First is the cell wall. So this gives the shape of the uh, the plant. I mean of the plant cell. Cell membrane, the second layer in the plant cell, keeps the parts of the cell inside. So this is semi permeable. And chloroplast, it is only found in plant cells, so it is its color is green because of the pigment chlorophyll. Then cytoplasm, it's the large and fluid field. It fills up the space between the nucleus and the cell membrane. This is true um, even in animal cell. Then we have the nucleus, it's the control center of the cell. And if you are given here a lemon, so this is part is the cell wall, then the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, the nucleus, then the chloroplast. Trivia time, so there are about 320,000 species of plants on earth. Most of the species are located in tropical rainforests like our country, the Philippines. So aren't they lucky? Very lucky. Below is the plant cell diagram with embedded organelles. So here is it. She can see it's angular because of the cell wall. So here are the organelles that can be found in plant cells only. We have the plastids and there are double membrane organelles found mainly in plants. So we have the types, we have the chloroplast, contains the green pigment, the chromoplast contains the yellow, orange, and red color, and the leucoplast, they are non-pigmented. Then we have the vacuoles where it stores food, enzymes, and other materials needed by the cell. So remember these organelles can also be found in animal cells. Yes, for the what's more portion. So it has something to do with the analogy. So I flash ko lang ang correct answers. Anyway, we discussed it already. And so with the what I have learned portion, you may pause this video if you want to. Then the what I can do, you are going to draw the plant cell and don't forget to label the major parts and organelles present. Then the rubrics. And yes, for the assessment here. Number one, which of the following are present in plant cell and are absent in animal cell? So we have the cell wall and chloroplast. That's the answer. For number two, how do the major parts or layers of the plant cell and animal cell differ? The answer is plant cells have major or five major parts while animal cells have three. 
For number three, what is photosynthesis? So it is the process of the plants plant cells to make their own food. That's letter C. Number four, what are the end products of photosynthesis? The answer is letter C, sugar, water, and oxygen. For number five, which of the following is the external stiff and rigid additional support for plant cell that cannot be found in animal cell? The answer is letter A, cell wall. Number six, what fluid is located inside the central vacuoles? The answer is cell sap, letter B. Number seven, papayas, tangerines, sunflower, and yellow bells are yellow and orange. What kind of plastid is causing their fruit and flowers with these colors? That's the chromoplast. Chromoplast. Number eight, what kind of plastid is located in the roots and other non-pigmented parts of the plants that store starch, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats? So it's the leucoplast. Number nine, which of the following in general is true for plants in terms of the number of mitochondria present in its cells? The answer is plant cells have less mitochondria than animal cells. Number ten, what do you think is most likely to happen if plants do not have cell wall and chloroplast? The answer is letter D, plant cells will be easily damaged and cannot be or cannot do photosynthesis. Number 11, which of the following best describes a plant cell? The answer is 1, 2, and 4. It has a cell wall chloroplast, it undergoes photosynthesis, and it has large vacuoles for storage. Number 12, which part of a mitochondrion is an adaptation that increases the surface area and enhances its ability to produce ATP? Letter D, intermembrane space. Number 13, the process of photosynthesis always begins with the energy from the light or solar energy is absorbed by the proteins that contain green chlorophyll pigments. Is it true that photosynthesis is an important process in plants? The answer is letter D, yes, because it is the process in which plants make their own food and energy. Number 14, Animals and plants coexist in natural occurrence cycle in nature. So what byproduct of photosynthesis is being utilized by animals as counterpart to this cycle? The answer is oxygen. Number 15. Plant cells are larger than animal cells in size. Is the previous statement about the cell size true? The answer is yes, because plant cell is rectangular in shape and animals are spherical that makes it different. And for the additional activities we have here, the organelles that are present in animal cells only for both and for plant cells only. And yeah, that ends our that ends our lesson for today and see you for our next lesson. Bye bye.